Hello, hello, what's going on everybody? This is Etho and we are at it again today guys with another episode of the Terra Firma Punk. And man, I gotta say, I'm I'm still really enjoying this mod pack, guys. Um I feel like as we get more into it here, I'm I'm getting more into it, you know? <laughs> it's becoming more and more enjoyable as we're getting more established in the in our place here and stuff, right? Which is cool. Um, I was thinking about it, we gotta be, we kinda gotta be a little bit careful though as we progress here. Uh, we're kinda at that point now, like we just unlocked iron, and if we're not careful, we might get to the stage where things become very grindy and then I start hating the mod pack, <laughs> which is what happened, uh, uh, kind of in the first season and the second season and, and that kind of stuff, right? Um, so here's what we gotta do. As we go along, we can't be like, oh, let's let's move on to the next thing. Let's move on to the next thing, right? We gotta really focus on building up our infrastructure in this mod pack. Like, for example, we gotta do a lot of mining at this point, right? Mining is something I do constantly. Rather than, like, mining every single block with the pick and, you know, it takes forever, we need to start thinking about, like, hey, let's set up uh, a gunpowder farm at those gas spawners we found, and then we can... Like, whenever we need to go mining, we can just bring a gunpowder barrel and blow it up. <laughs> you know, that would be way faster and way more fun. So we got to we gotta think about doing things like that. Uh, now that we have iron unlocked, we can start making minecarts and railcraft stuff. So we can work on our transportation. And there's just a lot of stuff we can do that will be fun to set up and also will help us in the long run at uh, enjoying the mod pack, right? So we're going to do that. Uh, the big thing though, iron. It takes so much charcoal. Check this out. Like, We need to set up more tree farms like this where we can just break a block and get so much wood. So yeah, let's try to focus on that to begin with here. We'll try to set up like a permanent tree farm area. One issue we're having though is if we put the, the trees together like that, we are, we're not getting enough saplings back. So I'm wondering if like we place logs, if like when we harvest this, if it'll take down the, the naturally grown tree. It doesn't, okay, so it doesn't connect to that. That's unfortunate. Because we kind of need like a one or two block space between the trees to get enough saplings back, and it uh, looks like we can't just do that. It has to be a natural log to work. Hmm. Like where they'll connect like that and take down the whole tree. So I feel like we should set up permanent planters for these trees as well. Like, hey, this is where the trees go and try to keep it a bit more organized as well. So I think we'll make more mud bricks to build these planters out of. All right. We just turn the dirt into these bricks. We got to lay them out in the sun so that they'll dry. Yeah, so check this out. Our home is just right over there. Not too far away, right? And then by our starter home here, we got this big open field, and look how flat it is here. That's what I really like. It's open and flat. We have lots of space to build a tree farm here. Oh, it looks like there's marble right below the dirt, though. That kind of sucks. I was thinking about maybe, like, there's a one block raise over here. I was thinking about maybe flattening that all out, but it looks like there might be marble underneath this. Ah. I'd have to flatten it and replace it all. I just walked by our farm here and it looks like our jute and our soybeans are, are ready here. So we're going to do a harvest and I just wanted to show you something or try something with you guys. Like this is the way I harvest my crops. I just boop, 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 <laughs> right? I saw in the comments someone said I've been doing it wrong all this time. Apparently you can use a scythe to do like a 3x3 three three area. Let's just see if that works because that'll save some time. Yeah, look at that. Okay, yeah, I've been doing it wrong all this time. Never knew this. That is amazing. I wonder if it'll... Oh, I just got my answer. It will harvest stuff if it's not ready. So we gotta be careful where we click, because we just uh, unplanted some, some wheat here. And throughout this episode, we're gonna try to keep our iron production going as well, so we wanna... We want to keep this bloomery running because it can only do a little bit at a time. We'll probably want to set up more than one of these eventually as well. 
because it's kind of slow. Because <laughs> uh, we only do 24 pieces of iron at a time here. And it takes quite a bit of time to finish. All right, fill it up with the charcoal. And then we go down here, we light it, we come back later. All right, let's go back to the tree farm. Nice, nice. Uh, it's two by two, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I think I am going to try flatten this. Like, it's only 15 blocks wide here, one block tall, you know. It's not a lot of land to change out. Um, instead of doing it like this, though, where I mine the dirt, break the stone, replace the dirt, uh, I figured it's best just to dig out, like, a channel like this. And then I can go along, mine the stone, dirt will fall down. And that way I don't have to mine the dirt in place again. It saves two steps, you know? So that'll be good. And then I just fill in the middle here with the dirt. Whoo! <laughs> Alright, so that took a little bit of time flattening this out. But look at it. It's beautiful. A perfect blank canvas for us to work on here. Nice and flat. So we got lots of space. We can set up our tree farm now. Uh, so I made... Some of those mud bricks, right? We laid them out, let them dry, we picked them back up, crafted them into mud bricks, and we're going to make rows for growing the trees here. Um, these are just for decoration, mainly. But the, the main thing is we're going to have dirt in the middle that the trees go on, the saplings. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've been thinking about maybe just doing, like, chunks of nine and then having a space and then another chunk of nine. Maybe. Um, we'll probably leave a five block gap here for walk, like a walkway, a walkway, <laughs> a walkway, uh, for us, you know, but also we want a little bit of space between the rows of trees for leaves to grow. So we'll get enough saplings back and probably start the next row here. Yep. Yep. No, we ran out of mud bricks already. We, we didn't even get six of them built. <laughs> So we got a lot more space to fill in uh, as we go here, you know. Uh, one important thing we're going to be adding, though, in the very center here, like between the two sets of trees, four, oopsies, don't want to do that, four, five, how high should we go here, six, maybe seven, we'll go seven blocks up, and then we're going to build like a sky walkway where we'll be able to reach the leaves with our sickle and um, and harvest them easily, you know, uh, and walk between the rows and stuff. I think I did something like this in the first season of, of Terraforma Craft. I think uh, the way I did it is I kind of built some rails as well. Railing. Now, I'm a little scared to do this. I'm going to try walk in the middle here and see if we fall. Oh, we do. Darn it. <laughs> All right, so we got to fatten that up a little bit. Um, probably need to place at least one more piece here. I think if we do it like, like this thick, we should be fine, right? Let's try walk here again. Oh, and actually it's nighttime now. I kind of wanted to try, add some lighting to this tree farm as well. We're just going to use jack-o'-lanterns. Those are kind of like cheapo lighting. Uh, anything around our house, though, we'll try to make actual lanterns, like fancy lighting. But this will allow us to cover a big area pretty easy. This is permanent lighting, so we don't have to worry about torches burning out or anything like that. And that'll tr try to keep our tree farm a little bit safer at nighttime. So, I think we'll have, a sp have one in the middle here. And then we'll probably have to add one more in the very center, right? Three, four... Six over here. That's probably enough lighting to stop most mobs from spawning in here. Uh huh. So we don't actually have a lot of saplings at the moment either. I planted uh, two rows here, though. We'll see if they'll be able to grow with this uh, walkway up there, or if that's going to block the tree from growing for some reason. Should be fine, though. I think. And the idea is we got some rails on here, so I won't fall off. It's uh, thick enough at the bottom here; I won't fall through. So I can just walk along after the trees grow and just go boop, 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 get all the saplings to fall down, uh, do both sides, and then chop down the trees, basically, is the plan. 
But yeah, we'll we'll just do a little test run with those saplings, see if they grow. Probably go do some other stuff. Okay, so next up here, I think we're gonna work on the roof to our house and get that done finally. Did you believe me? We're not doing that. Ah, <laughs> uh, you fell for it. Uh, okay, we're gonna do some some other stuff though. Uh, I set up a pit kiln here. Gonna make a couple more of these water jugs because they keep breaking on me. We're down to our last one. And got some ingot molds in there. Made some armor off camera here as well. A backup suit of bismuth bronze for when we want to go do some adventuring. Because uh, we lost our chest plate and our helmet and these are about to break as well. These are like our around the house clothes, you know. <laughs> Nothing too fancy. But when we go out to adventure, we're going to take the good stuff, right? Um, let's see. Oh yeah, we've been cooking up iron throughout this episode. So I got that. Uh, just sitting here waiting to be processed. We're going to try and make an anvil. Iron anvil. You need that to... Oh, I had one. Whoopsies. You need that to actually make iron tools. Uh, I got four double ingots made already. I think we need three more. Let, let's double check. Anvil. Rod iron anvil. Yeah, it's seven total. All right, we got them heated up. Let's start working them. Okay, so I think we got them all here. Let's cool these down. Boop, boop, and boop. And now we take this, take the other four, make our anvil. Excellent, so now we'll be able to make iron tools. Uh, take this stuff out of here. Pop the other one out. Put it back, cool, cool. So now we can take this anvil. Uh oh, can't move. <laughs> Take this anvil, we can melt it down in here, get our metal back. Oh, take it off, put it in. All right, cool, so that gave us 14 ingots back. We can start casting this bronze to reclaim it. Uh, we got this iron cook in here, right? We're gonna try and make some tools now out of this. I wanna get a, a nice pick, so let's do that. Gonna be a draw, draw bend punch, ooh. Draw, bend, punch. Oh, we still gotta start around here. Draw, bend, punch. Oh, too far. Maybe around here. Draw, bend, punch. Oh, that was close. That was really close. Try again. Got it. Cool. So we got our, our iron pick. That'll allow us to mine a little bit faster than this bronze one. My home. Doing like combos on this guy. Oh, <laughs> you see that swing? We got him. Oh, but he's split into the baby. Oh, 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 no! No! I thought I could have taken him. He wrecked me, man, with the fall damage. Got me right in my own home. I played this mod pack so carefully, like, when I first started, and I'm I'm being really careless now. <laughs> I should really stop. Like, I, I'm not even skipping the night most of the time now. And I kind of need to, because I can't really deal with these guys always. Guess we got a couple quests to hand in here. This one, Undead Slayer, I think that's a repeatable quest for beating zombies. Gives you a reward bank, okay. Basic bag. So probably can do that one again. Yeah. Okay. Nothing too exciting there. Blacksmith. Oh, there was one for uh, the iron. Okay. We can get whale bones, bone needles, bones, or bone meal. I mean, gotta pick the whale bones, right? <laughs> I have no idea what the difference is. Um. And then that's for the anvil. Oh, it's gonna give us an extra life, good. And again, oh, actually we don't have any borax. I'm gonna take the borax. Greater bag. Ice, ooh, that's really good actually because uh, we'll be able to put that in our pantry here, our cellar, keep it cool. How's our stuff doing down here? This is our food supply right now, by the way. We got a bit of grain. We got a bit more grain. 
<laughs> uh, fruits and veg, some soybeans. Oh, that reminds me. We never did uh, anything with that milk either, did we? We made it last episode, I think, and it's just sitting here. I don't know if it spoils. Do we do both or did we just do the one? Oh, yeah, this one's converted over. Okay. Let's eat our hearts. Uh, we got another bag, too. Cloudberry bush and a spindle. I like getting bushes. They, they're really nice for decorating. Um, whale bones? What are these for? Oh, oh, there's armor. Armor, um, detector. Oh, you can make eight needles out of that. So it's a good thing we didn't pick the needle as the request reward. Oh, and you can make bones out of it too. Yeah, that was definitely the choice. Uh, I made a little a shelf here for our our uh, buckets and jars and stuff because they were kind of cluttered. Uh, we'll unseal. We'll take our milk. So that should be done. We need four bottles of whiskey. Uh, we should have some whiskey down by the water here. I think we made it a long time ago. And it did actually turn out this time. So that's cool. Whiskey, sake, beer. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So we take uh, four jars of this, and that should be done with that quest. Yep, yep. Okay, we get uh, more bushes. I'm going to go for... I like strawberries. I'm going to take strawberries. Oh, and that unlocked two new things that we've done already. Cheese. We haven't made cheese, but maybe we got that as a reward before. <gasps> Torchberries! I think those give off light. Um, This is for making bread. We've done that many times. No berries, elderberries. Doesn't really matter. All right, we're getting stuff done here. 75% done the survivalist branch now. Another life. Good bag. That's not really useful. <laughs> Throw that away. Um, I want to try make some cheese actually. So I was looking it up. I've never done I've never done the cheese making before, but it sounds like all we need is stuff we've already made. So we we have some vinegar left, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we got some vinegar. We take that, we throw it in our milk, and I think that'll turn to curdled. Oh, I might have messed this up. Oh, no, that'll make curdled milk. Okay. And then after you get the curdled milk, I think it'll turn into cheese. So actually, vinegar is used in a lot of things, and we're kind of running out of it at this point. So we're going to make up some more using uh, this fruit we just got. And I looked it up. It's apparently... Let's see. Let's throw that out. Let's throw that out. Stack those two. Oh, that didn't work. Stack them. 100 ounces exactly. Uh, it's 10 ounces per bucket of liquid. So 100 ounces for a, a full barrel. Exactly. So I'm going to seal that. That'll make vinegar. All right. So check it out. The curdled milk finished here. Now it's going to turn into cheese in probably another eight hours or so. And it will be done. Nice thing about cheese is it lasts a very long time, I believe. That's like one of the key things about it. Uh, it's one of the longest lasting food sources. Uh, I wanted to try out our pick, actually. Let's do that, because we just made uh, some iron tools here. Let's look at the speed difference between a regular bronze pick and this uh, new one. Oh, it's mine over here. That's the, that's the bronze speed. It's not too bad. They seem pretty similar. <laughs> the iron one probably is like a second faster though or something. It, I know it is faster. It's just hard to tell the difference. But when you're doing like hundreds of blocks, then it really adds up. Uh-huh. Okay, let's head over here. Um, so on the whole uh, tree farm thing, there is something called a coke oven. We really want to make a coke oven today too probably. I thought we needed fire bricks for this, but it looks like there's a recipe where we can just use regular bricks like basalt, rhyolite, dacite, andesite. It's not all the, the bricks, uh, just the harder ones, the harder material ones, which we don't really have, unfortunately. So I'm wondering if the structure is made out of those. Let's go check it out. I think gabbro was one option as well. I thought... Oh, diorite. Okay, diorite will, be, will work for this. Pretty sure. Yeah, let's mine up a few of these and we'll be able to make a coke oven. Uh, do we have some? 
Yeah, we have 16 already. I think we got those out of like a generated structure somewhere. We didn't craft these, we, we found them. Uh, but we need three times three. We need like 26 of them total. So we need another 10, right? Um, so with that in mind, let's try this out, see if it works. Sand like this. Ta-da. Okay, diorite is not an option. <laughs> Gabbro, does Gabbro work? Gabbro does not work. What am I doing wrong? I thought that was for sure one of them. Diorite. Gabbro. Yeah, Gabbro bricks. Oh, I guess the sand has to match it too. I'm using a different type of sand. This is marble sand. Oh, that's... Uh... That's going to be hard to get, actually. We could use the bricks, but those are expensive. Maybe we'll go do a little bit of adventuring and see if we can find more of these... Uh, coke oven bricks in a structure somewhere. Because that's a lot easier than crafting them. <laughs> Alright guys, we suited up with our brand new armor here. We're going to go check out some of these structures, see if we find anything interesting. Uh, starting with one of these. We kind of poked our heads into one of these before, but we never really went in. Now we have a better idea of what we're looking for. Like, if we ever see these pipes, we're going to take them now. And this, oh, those are steam tanks. We'll snag that. Yeah, we're on the hunt for some of this, this stuff now. Take the pipes. I thought there were spawners in here, wasn't there? Or did I break it? There are several floors. Can we climb on this uh, support frame? No. thought it might work like a ladder. Um, can't place ladders on it either. Interesting. All right, let's go up. I'm curious what's up here. I think we got the coke oven bricks in like a house sort of building before though. Like not one of these structures. I don't know why we're here. <laughs> it's the first thing we stumbled across. So it's what we're checking out, I guess. Okay, a few more pipes. Oh, here's a chest. Bag, a top hat. <laughs> and some wool yarn. Nice, nice. Okay, we're at the top now. Uh, looks like yeah, there's not really anything here, though. Go to the very top of the roof here. Just to check it out. Oh, yeah, there is a chest. Hey, look at that. Is there a spawner? No spawners? No spawners. That's surprising. We've got a record disc, sugarcane seeds, gunpowder. Okay, nothing super exciting, <laughs> I guess. Uh, we did get a top hat, though. I mean, that makes it worth it, in my book. <laughs> it kind of it slants on your head, too. That's great. Whoop, 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 whoop. There's a creepy house in the woods here we could check out. I don't think we've been in here yet, anyways. Ooh. He's got a weapon, man. That's a, some serious damage on that thing. Here, let's do let's do it the cheaty weight. We'll climb up. Just break in. We do have a chest. Can he get up here? No, he can't. Uh basic bag, two basic bags. I'm gonna take these redstone torches. They're probably more valuable than anything else, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, one, two. I think there was one more out here, no? Just the two. Uh, this is actually a really weird area. Like, if you look on the map, there's this big, big gray patch there, right? Let's go check it out. It's probably just a bunch of hills and stuff, but there might be some ores in there. And it's probably neat to see, too. Oh, it's like a giant cave system that generated near the, the surface, I'm guessing, is what, what did that. Aha. Uh -huh. Anything fancy down there? Anything good? Anything crazy? Not really seeing anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any ores. I'm not sure if we've ever seen anything like this before. This is a new structure, I think. Let's go check it out. Uh, looks like we got one, two, three floors on this thing. We do have a lantern out here. A fancy lantern. We'll steal that. Bring it back to our home. Bookshelves! Oh, hello. We need those. Oh, and I hear a skeleton. Okay, so we probably got some spawners. Look at all these. 
Oak bookcases. Excellent. Actually, uh, we kind of want string too, right? So we'll take these cobwebs too. <laughs> it's like all this stuff that you think of as junk is uh, actually pretty good in Terraforma Craft. Yeah, and even these iron bars are probably pretty useful. Like, there's a lot of crafting recipes that require iron bars, and like, iron's not easy to get in this. Some bismuth. Oh, here too. Okay, so I'm hearing a lot of skeletons. I can't tell. Oh, they are up above us there. Okay. Uh, you guys stay put. Stay put. Oh, and there's no third floor. It's it's totally open there. Okay, so. Do we even want to go up there is the question. Anything worth grabbing? We got two spawners. I don't see any chests. I don't see the bookshelves or anything. So I think I'm going to walk away from that. <laughs> uh, it's not worth the risk. Um, okay, where are we? We're over here. There is a structure here that's a roguelike dungeon, I think. There's something over there, too. Let's go check that out. Aha, uh -huh. so that's the roguelike dungeon over there, but check this place out. This is pretty cool. This almost looks like a like a little fortress or something, right? We got another fancy lantern in the front we'll steal. <laughs> Those are awesome. Um, some weird door. This is Twilight Forest uh, stuff. Is it breakable even? Some stuff in Twilight Forest you can't break. Looks like it is breakable, okay. Weird. This is not a friendly staircase. <laughs> not at all. There's a spawner up here, I'm definitely getting knocked down. And I am not getting back up again. Oh! Naga spawner. Naga? Can't open the chest with that there, so I am going to break it. Play jug. Lore book. Redstone, yeah, nothing too exciting there except the redstone. We're actually kind of out of space here. Do we really want these seeds? We have lots of seeds. I'm going to leave these behind because we're kind of running out of space. Yeah, we'll take the redstone. That's more valuable. String's good. I think we've gotten a lore book before and it's not really anything special. Um, Thorns, huh? Can we take these and use them? Okay, I broke the block and it, it spawned in a new one. That's very strange. That is a weird block. All right, and I doubt there's anything up here, but we'll check. Mm, yeah, pretty empty. Okay, let's get let's get out of here. Hmm. You know, I kind of remember finding the coke bricks in a house like this, like a rundown house. I, I kind of remember it being a little bit bigger, though, maybe. But it looks like there's some steam stuff in here. So we're not going to come out of this empty-handed. There's probably a spawner, too, though, I would think. There's a chest. Spawner? Yeah, there's a spawner. What kind? Twilight Forest Red Cap. I think that's the uh, guys with the knives. Efficiency 4 Sharpness 3 book. Okay, that's that's really good. Oof. Yeah, it's not the same house I was thinking of. Uh, this is way smaller. Um, Astrolabe? Don't know what that is. A leather water sack. Okay, I've been meaning to make one of those and I haven't got around to it. I think that's better than these water jugs. Possibly. We'll try it out later here. Uh, we are out of space here, unfortunately. I don't really want to leave anything behind. Oh, wait, I got another, another one of these empty. Okay, let's put this stuff away. Let's take this piping stuff, too. It's pretty valuable. Oh, <laughs> look at that thing. What is that? This is a giant, uh, giant sky castle. Maybe from the Twilight Forest? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think we could check it out, though. Like, I want to go look at it, but... Like, we can't even stack up to that because it's in the middle of the ocean. Huh. All right, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. It's over here on the map. It's pretty easy to spot. Probably the biggest structure I've found so far. Let's check out this last place here before we head back and probably wrap up our episode. I, I know we've been to one of these observatories before. I don't know if this is where we got the coke oven bricks, though. So. 
but we'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Okay. I remember there were some spawners in here. I think it they chased us out last time, right? I'm hearing a ticking. <laughs> That's not good. Put up here. Yeah, there's definitely spawners. Okay. Huh. The chest up there? Can't open it though. What is ticking? Oh, the typewriter. Oh, and uh, like a grandfather clock here. That's cool. We'll take that. Um, man, I'm so full of stuff though. Get rid of the sugarcane seeds. Well, we should take all this piping too. I'm just gonna bust the chest and see what comes out. Bear, 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 bear. No! <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Awesome. Okay, so those trees are starting to grow. Finally. Uh, let's just see. The leaves aren't as high up as I was expecting. I think, uh, I think they're within reach though, so that's good. That's fine. Awesome, guys. So we made it back home here. We had a good haul there, actually. Look at all this stuff. We got four whale bones. I found those just sitting in the ocean. Three steam whistles. Look at all these pipes. Over a stack of pipes. Some rails. Iron bars. They're called metal bars? Wait a minute. Have these always been called metal bars? I've always called them iron bars. Really? <laughs> I gotta check out uh, vanilla Minecraft because I'm I'm sure they are called iron bars, aren't they? Uh, I went and grabbed some more ocean water. We got a barrel full of that because we were close to it. Uh, we got this leather water sack. I guess this holds three drinks. I believe. Or... Oh, it, and it doesn't use like a full thing if you don't have space for it either. That's cool. But yeah, we got a lot of good stuff. A lot of weird stuff from that run. We got Ward, the best music disc. So we might want to make a jukebox. Some more cranberry bushes. We got a clock. Like, not a, not a pendulum. Like an actual nice looking clock. <laughs> Bam, for the house. Um, Four of these to open up. I think they're all basic bags. So it's probably not going to get anything good here. Ooh, an egg. Uh, that enchanted book, though, is amazing. Uh, what what will it take to make an anvil? Like, we need a regular vanilla anvil, right, to do that? Oh, that is not cheap. <laughs> an enchanting table and a wrought iron anvil to make it. Yikes. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, guys, I think we'll we'll probably wrap up the episode here for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, as always, and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.